Hello, appreciate you checking us out today. Oh, uh, video today, I'm going to go over setting up your thermostat to be on emergency heat. Oh, uh, heat pumps, uh, whether they have electric heat as a backup or gas as a, as a backup, uh, have always had uh, emergency heat as an option. And if you had an older thermostat, you may have had a, a switch on it that you could set it from heat to cool, and then uh, may have even had an auto, but then it had emergency heat setting. With the train uh, uh, Nexia thermostats, uh, they are a little different for picking that option. So I was going to go into my thermostat uh, and show you uh, how to get to that setting. Uh, we got some alerts over the last few weeks where some people had them set that way by accident uh, and they just didn't realize what had happened. So we do try to reach out to our customers to let them be aware of that. Uh, but again, here's a uh, just a short video of how to get into the thermostat and uh, change that setting. So here I'm actually logged into my thermostat at my house. Uh, I have a, uh, it's a hybrid system, so it's a heat pump with gas uh, as a backup, but I still have that option for emergency heat. So if I go to the uh, menu, the auto or system mode here, you can see I've got it set to automatic and then you can select heating and cooling, but you don't have any option for emergency heat. Uh, so in, in this case, what you would do is click on system options down here at the bottom left. And then you have emergency heat and you can enable or disable it. So if I wanted to have the system running on emergency heat, I would just go back and click on that and hit enable and hit done and now I've got a little E symbol down here at the bottom that will indicate I am set up on emergency heat. So if for some reason you see that little red E on your thermostat uh, and you don't think you're supposed to be in emergency heat you may want to go back and check that. Uh, and again when you click here you can't really see it that it's set uh, but if I go to system options I'm going to disable that and hit done. And now that little E at the bottom has gone away. So there you go. Make sure you keep an eye on that. Uh, it usually will not happen by accident, but if it does, that, that's how to uh, make it work and get back out of it.